Minibuses and other public vehicles are currently allowed to transport 75% of their seating capacity under the COVID-19 guidelines. But President of the United Minibus Union, Ion Andrews, said this should not be the case as it does not allow for adequate distancing in vehicles. 75% is just one less than what the bus normally holds, which means you have three in a seat. There's no social distance. There has to be two in a seat. Has to be 65%. There are persons who are disciplined enough and understand the importance of this pandemic. And they try to carry two. And they try, but why is it? I don't think that we should endorse everything, anything that has to do with 75%. Andrews also pointed out that persons on the bus parks are not wearing masks, touts are still around pulling persons' bags, and some drivers are overloading the minibuses. He was at the time addressing a road safety forum. I've seen bus drivers without masks. I've seen them allowing people to come in the bus without masks. They must refuse persons who are coming into their buses without masks. And the, the passenger has a responsibility also whereby he ought not to go in a bus if there are passengers in there without masks. We have to be serious about this thing. It's no fun at the parks. There are these youngsters who are still touting. They don't have a mask. One person is going in one bus and the bar going in another bus. How they pulling the people around. And what they're doing, they're without masks. But whenever you see one of these youngsters put on a mask, that means some pensioner pension is gone. They're robbing pensioners. According to Traffic Chief Ramesh Ashram, the police is faced with its own challenges as persons are not adhering to the guidelines. He said there is an ongoing campaign where persons are charged for breaching the COVID-19 guidelines. There is an exercise we carry out on a weekly basis, Ms. Andrews, you know, where we charge persons. But then, when you go around the area, look at it. Why an adult person have to get someone to tell them which bus to go in? Why we must tell a person not to go in overload bus? When you look at it and you look back, you want to know whether the education program persons are looking at it or they are just listening to it one year and go to the next year. Because it's the same thing we keep lecturing and the same attitude with drivers and other persons on the road. The Guyana National Road Safety Council on Wednesday said it will embark on a campaign to ensure that the COVID-19 regulations are enforced. Guyana has recorded over 3,000 COVID-19 cases to date and 98 deaths. Bibi Katoon, Newsroom.